Thanks for tuning in. Today I have a really exciting collective haul for you. There are a number of pieces I picked up during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale period. Um, and there's also a really, really special piece that finally arrived from Louis Vuitton that I am super excited to share with you as well. So I figured I'd just smush them all together because it's all these goodies that I picked up around the similar time. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna jump right into it. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so we can all mindfully curate our own collections. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your favorite item or your favorite Black Friday score. Uh, all of your support really means a lot to me. Like I said, there's a good number of stuff um, and it's a bit, the categories are sort of all over the place, so I'm going to share everything with no particular order, but um, I will leave chapters down below so you can fast forward to a section that you're more interested in in case you're not interested in what I'm about to talk about right now. The first thing that you may notice is that my background looks a little bit different, and actually, yes, this clothing rail is one of my Black Friday purchases. <laughs> It's from the brand Yamazaki. You may have seen ads on Instagram, at least that's the first time, that's, the, that's how I discovered the brand. It's all kind of Japanese inspired designs, so they're all very minimal, very functional, and a lot of times they will be pretty like small or thin or, you know, they're not as clunky, they're not as chunky um, as some kind of furniture items can be. Yamazaki has their own website, but Yamazaki is also sold on like Amazon and West Elm. So I actually purchased this piece from West Elm. It's like a leaning rail that's very simple, has a shelf on top, which is going to be perfect for uh, like right now for my hauls. And I also plan on putting some of our outerwear here as well because we do have a really small coat closet, but you know how like winter outerwear gets, they're like bulky, especially if you have like down jackets or puffers. So we're like really running out of space there. So this is to extend some of the coat hanging space in our home. But in case any of you are looking for a really slim profile, clothing rail. I will link this down below because this was like the most, this was like the simplest I could find. Um, and it was super easy to assemble. My boyfriend actually did it all by himself in probably like 20 minutes. And um, it's nice and sturdy. It, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna move over to some beauty bits because I feel like I'm going to forget about the Chanel bag that's all the way up here. So let me do that now and get that out of the way. So I picked up a couple of pieces from Chanel Beauty. I recently went to Chanel to do like a makeup lesson kind of class thing and I wanted to try a really graphic eyeliner look. I will share more about it in my upcoming monthly vlog for December. So if you're curious, stay tuned for that and then you'll see like more of what it's like. Like. For the past several months, I've been trying out a lot of different Chanel Beauty bits and I discovered uh, a moisturizer that I really, really like and also works really well for my boyfriend. So I decided to just pick up the full size so that we can go ahead and use it. That moisturizer is Le Solution 10 from Chanel and uh, it is a moisturizer that has been formulated um, in partnership with a dermatologist. Her name's Dr. Weschler. And um, it's called Solution 10 because I believe there are only 10 ingredients in this moisturizer, which is really great. So it's perfect for everyday use and it's perfect for sensitive skin because there's only 10 ingredients. It does not have any fragrance. It's a really nice light cream texture. And I don't mean light to make it seem like it's not going to be very moisturizing because it is, but I feel like the Solution 10 is actually a really nice balance of being kind of lightweight but fully moisturizing. So I picked up full size of this. And then of course I was doing that makeup lesson and so I wanted to pick up something from my look and uh, we used this lip gloss and it's been a really long time since I've used lip gloss. Okay, but we all know that like the 90s and like early 2000s aesthetic is totally coming back, right? So those frosty lipsticks and all that lip gloss is totally making a comeback. And I also wanted something that I could wear um, while I'm working from home. I know this sounds really silly. Like I actually don't put makeup on for any of my meetings, like my camera meetings that I have at home. 
but sometimes, sometimes I can look really dead. And I, I only say dead because like my lips are really, like they are really nude. They're like, they blend into my face. So it almost looks like I don't really have lips or I can look a little sickly. And it's not that I really care about how I look on the camera, but sometimes it's just really distracting for me. Like I get bothered by the fact that I look like I'm dead. I might be dead on the inside, but you know, I don't want to show too much on the outside. So I picked up this lip gloss. It's 804 Rose Naif, and it is this really pretty pink color and it's it's a pretty translucent pink so I sort of want it to act like a tinted lip balm so it adds a little bit of shine and a little bit of color nothing too crazy um, and it will be perfect for just like throwing it on right before a meeting so I don't look like I'm dead I have one more beauty related item that I want to share and that is this baby right here uh, you may have noticed that my hair looks uh, a little extra glam, I say, a little like va va voom, you know? <laughs> and um, that's because I used the Dyson Airwrap for the very first time. This was also a Black Friday purchase. This is actually my boyfriend's Christmas gift to me. <laughs> he was really excited about it and he also wanted me to be able to use it during the holiday season. So he told me about it ahead of time. This is the first time I've used it and I must profess uh, that I am not very good with hair. I am terrible with hair actually. So um, the fact that the one try and this is how it turned out, I'm like really impressed. The Dyson always comes really nicely packaged. This has like all of the attachments. So it has the air wrap, the dryer, um, two 40 millimeter barrels, two 30 millimeter barrels, a two different kinds of smoothing brushes and a roll brush at the end. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not a beauty YouTuber. I'm not an expert in any of this. So I highly recommend that you check out other videos from people who like know how to do hair <laughs> to see more details of this, this piece. But um, I did want to mention it because it's really nice. I actually, I really like it. Um, I only used it once today and I'm already thinking like, oh my gosh, should I get one of these for my mom? Because it's actually really, really easy to use. All right, with all of the beauty bits out of the way, I'm going to move into fashion. I am really proud of myself. I felt like I did a really good job keeping myself very focused and making sure I was able to get all the gifts for everybody else on my list first before I started getting little bits for myself. But there still are a few things, so let me get into those. I did place an order with Honey Love. I got a bra and I got one of their Lifewear camis. It's like a sculpting tank top. I'm actually wearing the tank top right now and this is the bra that I got. I got them both in nude because I just wanted to have something that I can wear under everything to try out. I am impressed. Let me put in like my try on clip so you can see what it looks like fully on. I am wearing the Honey Love tank underneath. I have to say I really love it too. It's actually, it's really comfortable and it's nice that it's like an all-in-one but it doesn't have the bottom piece and I do really feel it um, kind of adding some extra shape and it does do a good job with your girls too. <laughs> I wasn't expecting too much because it's, it doesn't have a wire or anything like that, but it does give a really, really nice shape overall to the top half of your body. And I feel like this kind of tank top style is much more wearable than a full like bodysuit that you have to like unbutton or undo to use the restroom. So I am a huge fan. You guys might remember, uh, I think it was in my summer favorites or something. Earlier this year, I tried out Honey Love for the first time and I got a bra that was super, super comfy. It's actually a different style from the one that I just picked up right now. But I lost some weight between the summer and now and so that bra is too big. And I still remembered how comfortable they were. So I went ahead and checked it out and then I was like, okay, it's a good time for me to just pick up another bra and um, try out this tank top and I'm in love with the tank top. I really am. Let me just share my one H&M item that I want to showcase really quickly. I've actually already worn this piece and I didn't actually get this during Black Friday. I got it like a couple of weeks before Black Friday. This is one of those knitted shrug and tank top dress 
combo thingies. I don't buy from fast fashion too often anymore, but I was really curious to try out this kind of silhouette to see how it worked on my body. So actually this, this knitted dress piece down here is a halter top style and it's too big for me. But I really like how the shrug looks. Like I like the shape the shrug has. So I'm planning on I'm trying to mix and match this with a different black tank top to still get that look. Um, I will link it below. It is H&M, so honestly, it's not like the best quality on the planet, but the shrug definitely is nicer than this dress part. There's one more item that actually just got delivered. And so I wanted to quickly try it on because this is a tank top that I got from technically free people on Shop Up. Um, and I got this tank top to wear with the H&M kind of knit shrug. Here is the shrug. It's a smaller rib, but it's still a pretty pronounced rib. So I feel like it works okay. And I was also having a hard time finding the right tank deep enough, but not too deep. Um, and not too straight because I wanted this to ha have like a better shape. Um, so I think that works really well too. Sorry, this is like not the best view, but hopefully you can see a little bit of what the back looks like. Yeah, I think this works. I think this is perfect for sort of like satisfying my curiosity, you know what I mean? Um, and I can also wear this tank top under blazers and under a lot of other things that I think it'll work really well for that, but this shrug also kind of goes together. This might be one of my favorite purchases from this haul. And I purchased this from the Outnet. It was an awesome deal. These are some jeans from Isabel Morant. So these are the Isabel Morant jeans on me and I love them. I actually already wore them, which is why you probably see some wrinkles down here. <laughs> but I did want to show you the fit on me. They're super comfortable. They're not too tight up here, but I like that there's all this room. Straight leg, but it tapers a little bit towards the bottom, like towards the very end. And it makes it look really good to wear with like flats or sneakers, but you can also wear them really well with heels. I feel like Isabel Marat has really been waiting for this day to come where skinny jeans are sort of on the way out and they were like, yes, it is my time to shine. <laughs> Um, I just love the fit of these. I know there are different preferences when it comes to denim, and sometimes I like the thicker, stiffer denim, but I do like how these feel like they are almost like, like a summer pant, like a, like a nice cotton pant, you know, and um, they're not too restrictive. They, they don't really have stretch in them. They have slight stretch, but it's not like crazy, you know, skinny jeans stretch. I think why I like Isabel Marat jeans is because they are very high-waisted. I prefer that just for my body shape, high-waisted works better. And I feel like because Isabel Marat's high waist really comes all the way and it doesn't cut me in some awkward point of my short waist, that it works better for me. I had to turn on the lights because I'm running out of sunlight and hopefully it's not too bad, but I will, anyway, I'm just gonna run through everything else. I also had to check out the Net-A-Porter sale and I was really tempted to get this Balmain uh, long cardigan. It was super cute. It had these like strong shoulders. I felt like it was in a gorgeous, blue, like a baby blue color. I was really tempted to get it. If anybody needs help with impulse control, like this is me. Um, what I started to do now is just walk away for like an hour or two and see if you still really like it. So I saw it, I put it in my cart and I was like ready to go. And I was like, wait, just wait a minute. Just think about it for a second. And then when I came back to look at it again, I was like, it sort of looks like a bathrobe, so maybe I shouldn't go down that route. <laughs> this, on the other hand, is a cardigan that stayed on my mind for a few days, actually. It's by the brand by Maylene Berger. Berger? I have never purchased anything from this brand. It's actually the first time I've heard about this brand, but I believe it's a Danish brand. And what really caught my attention was the color, first of all, and the cut or the structure. Now, I know the Kate cardigan, the Kate knit cardigan is like all the rage this season. And I really like the shape of it as well, but I also know for my body shape, if I were to wear that kind of a thick knit, um, it's going to make me look a bit 
bigger than I actually am. Unless I'm able to get it in a very, very large size and like wear it as like a completely oversized look. But I don't even think the Kate style like comes in a size that would be large enough to be oversized for me. While I know that one's like really all the hype, I couldn't justify getting that. But this one, this one has a gorgeous like cocoon shape to it. Let me insert me trying it on for the very first time. The color is not looking as true on camera. It's like a, a minky taupe color. I really like the shape. That's really what made me want to get this one. I liked how this was cut up here. Uh, it doesn't quite have a collar, but it is a little bit deeper of a V, if you will. And the button starts literally right at the top. I loved how they're not really balloon sleeves, but they're more like cocoon sleeves, I'd say, um, and how kind of billowy they are. And I also love that the shape sort of, um, I guess overall is a pretty cocoon shape. <laughs> it has pockets. Um, I just, I love when cardigans and dresses have pockets. Not that I really use them, let's be real, especially for knitwear. Um, I don't like to use the pockets in, for fear that they might stretch out the knit, but um, I do like having it for the instance that I might have to like throw something in there really quickly. I did get an extra large because I wanted it to be an oversized fit. I'm really happy with the sizing. It is still pretty big for me, but I do like that it is a pretty big knit. I feel like it's such a good piece to throw on as like this kind of really cozy but casual look. But I do have to mention one thing. It isn't quite itchy. I it's not like an unbearable itchiness to it, uh, but it does have a bit of a texture to it. And I think it's because of the mohair, because this is a mix of wool, mohair. I think there's a little bit of like polyamide and elastane in there to make it a little bit stretchy, but there we go. You see the like the longer hairs. So the mohair does make it a little bit, uh, it's not itchy and it's not, it's a little bit scratchy. That's what it is. Like if you imagine like full on cashmere, like it doesn't feel as soft as that. But I think because the sleeves are big enough, like you don't feel it as much. It's not like a deal breaker for me. I do like that it doesn't, like it doesn't feel like it's going to lose its shape so easily, you know, because sometimes really soft cashmere is going to pill and sort of, droop you know like lose its shape. it doesn't quite hold a shape um or structure really well because of how soft it is but this one i feel like because it has that slight slight roughness to it that it'll hold the shape it has a very interesting cut and it has a very nice shape to it but it's still a soft shape so because i did get it in to be oversized, it still is able to drape a little bit and therefore I don't look like I'm this big wearing this kind of chunky knit. This is not something that I see all of the time and this is definitely not a shape that you're gonna find in your fast fashion shops. This particular net-a-porte piece was apparently coming from Italy. So it did say to like, please expect it to take a little bit longer. And it did, it took a lot longer. Usually net-a-porte comes in like a few days, especially for New York City. Even during the sale periods, like maybe it takes like five days. This took like a week and a half. So it took a while. It, it took a good amount of time to get to me, but it was well worth it. The last fashion bits are from All Saints and um, I actually purchased these in person because I went to the mall to do some shopping this Saturday after Thanksgiving because I, I will avoid physical shopping on Black Friday like my life depends on it because there will be so many people. There were still so many people on Saturday too but I feel like it was like a little bit better, you know? <laughs> so I went on Saturday and um, I was looking at gifts for other people and that's how I ended up in All Saints. But I saw this skirt, which was super cute. And I felt like it would be a good one to have and be able to wear for like special occasions. And I just like that it's sparkly and pleated and has this little kind of like gradation detailing and like a tulip hem. I actually purchased that skirt and I was on my way out of the store when I saw these beanies at All Saints as well and I just could not 
resist. So I had to pick one up. This one is in like the mauve pink color. Apparently they had a gray and a baby blue, but those already sold out by the time I got there. And they still had it in um, navy and cream. I love this for the shape, for how short it is. Um, it's kind of hard to find beanies that are this short. Now, when I was purchasing it, I mentioned that and the lady at the till mentioned that it does go down like this and um, it's actually made so you could fold it up once more and wear it shorter, but I much prefer it in this shorter shape anyway. Um, and so I picked this up as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna, let me just take the ribbon off so it's easier for me to try and do like this opening with one hand in the air while I'm standing. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about what this piece is and why it's so special. All right, inside this box, ta-da, there's a dust bag. Can you see? There we go. Inside, are you ready? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this is the newspaper pouch that was part of the fall winter men's collection for 2021. This has taken like six months to get to us. I don't know what happened. Something happened in between, it was strange. We pre-ordered this in June and we were expecting it, I think around latest was like September or something like that. We pre-ordered this at the same time that I pre-ordered for the mirror mirror pieces. And so we were expecting them to come at a very similar time because they were part of the same collection. But uh, lo and behold, this took a lot longer. Um, there were moments in time where we thought maybe it's not coming because of how long it was taking. This is uh, the really honestly it's like the really special piece from that collection and I think by now everybody has heard the very sad news of Virgil Abloh's passing and um, although this isn't from his last collection I do feel like this is uh, part of the fall winter collection that was very iconic and and really introduced a lot of new silhouettes like the airplane bag was part of that same collection that whole jacket with the cityscape on it was part of the same collection like there were so many standout pieces from that collection that's really great from like a collector standpoint that i feel like this is like one of the last pieces that he had really done as, as part of louis vuitton before he passed it is literally it looks like a newspaper here's the back um, there's a magnet in the middle, which lets it open up to become like a full size. There's a zipper at the top here for one pouch. This pouch actually goes about halfway. And then there's a zipper on the other side for the other side pouch. I thought initially that it was going to be one pouch that goes all the way down, but actually it does cut in the middle. So it's half and then there's one that goes the other way. And there is a wristlet strap as well. This is really cool, honestly. Uh, to be able to like print on leather like this is pretty fascinating. And like, it's just one of those that you would carry like this. And it is such a special piece to have that we are really happy to finally have this in our collection. It's one that we want to hold on for ever, really. We'll probably have this in our collection for forever. So just kidding, it's the next day and I got another delivery. So I figured I would tack it on to the end of my collective haul since it's collective anyway. I saw that Zara was doing a collaboration with the brand Adder Error. I picked up this blazer. I think the whole collection is intended to be pretty genderless and this blazer itself was meant to be pretty oversized. I still got it in the large which was the largest size because I wanted it to be a really large like oversized blazer. Um, a lot of my blazers are actually really fitted. So I'm wearing it with the um, Free People tank top and the same Isabel Marant jeans, but I just threw it on top to see what it looks like. I think I'm gonna need your guys' help on this one. Like, is it is it cool? Is it too big? Like, do we like it? Let me know. Like, I like it, but I feel like it's a little too big. 
that little like blue tag thing is like the outer era tag on all of the Zara pieces on this collab. Yeah, and there's all this like asymmetrical stitching going on. And this sleeve has some stitching up here. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It has pockets, but they're stitched up right now. Um, what do you think? I could wear it like as like a mini mini dress if I wanted to, you know, like I could cinch in the waist, wear some shorts underneath, but like wear it as like a super mini dress as well. Um, I think it looks better with the sleeves rolled up because when they're rolled down, I think it just looks like I borrowed my boyfriend's blazer. This is the one other item. Um, actually, technically my boyfriend ordered this item because he wanted to try out the bomber jacket that they um, came out with as part of this collab as well. Um, the bomber jacket was only in a size um, extra small, small, and like medium large or something like that. So this is the larger size, but it's actually pretty small. In case anybody's curious, um, I, I just tried it on so you could see. And it has a blue tag down here um, as like the signature of this collab, but it's really soft and it is, it is cute. It's like well constructed and it's, it has like a nice like worn in feel. Um, so it's not very stiff, but I do think we're probably going to return this one it's too small it doesn't fit my boyfriend very well so definitely let me know your thoughts on the blazer and let me know if you picked up anything from the zara adder error collab i hope you enjoyed this collective haul i hope it was nice to see some of the other like contemporary brands that i will purchase from as well admittedly i don't shop in general that much um as much as I used to. So um, I, I also get excited when I'm able to share some different brands that outside of, you know, the Chanel Louis Vuitton and Hermes that I typically like to get. Let me know if you had any awesome Black Friday, Cyber Monday major scores. I mean, I got a new laptop, I got a new printer as well, but I don't feel like those are as interesting. <laughs> I always say like, it's always really fun to find something on sale, but it's that much sweeter when you can share it with someone else. Let me know if you have any questions on any of these items or really anything at all. Feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time.